Hello there and welcome to RC Model Reviews and it's the Hobby King Pulse Jet. There it is, look it's all set up. As you can see I've got a fire extinguisher, I've got a compressor down here which is going to provide the necessary puff, got the ignition system over there on that chair, I've mounted the Hobby King Pulse Jet on this piece of wood which is no, or screwed to the top of a sawhorse and we've got a fuel tank there which is there to uh, provide the necessary juice. A couple of things I'll point out as well which are quite important. I haven't actually put the fuel tank right up close. I've left a bit of slack here. The reason for that is because when you want to stop the engine it's just easy to pinch the fuel line like that. If this was straight if I had just enough fuel tubing I'd have to try and squeeze it that way. Might not work so well. So there we go. We've got all the elements. We've got fuel. We've got air. We've got spark. Let's see if the damn thing works. Of course I've missed two other very important things. That is my hearing protection, grade 4 hearing protection, and the, the Hobby King sound meter, because we're going to see how loud this thing is. Everyone's heard these horror stories about pulse jets. How loud are they? Well, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to set it to the max indication, which will register the loudest sound. I'm going to put it a couple of meters away, and we're going to have a bit of a start with the engine, see what we can see what we can do. Now I've got my hearing protection on. Let's turn on the ignition. All good. And let's see if we can fire this little baby up. It doesn't look good. Let's try a bit of choking. Nothing happening here, and I think I know why. Oh, a bit of a pop out of the tailpipe there. I think I know why there's nothing happening. No. Now I can see the problem here, it's the flow ejector. This one may have been assembled incorrectly because it's actually blowing fuel into the side of the Venturi and it's just running out there. It's not actually blowing it into the motor. You probably see, I'll just do a bit of a close-up and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It's, it's built wrong, I'm afraid. I've seen them run on other channels, but this one, I think maybe she's been put together wrong. Or maybe, I always get the dud ones, right? So there we go. You watch the bottom of the Venturi as I fire the air and instead of the air fuel going into the chamber, it's running back out the intake. You watch. There you go, and that's with plenty of air pressure. It's got the wrong angle on it, and I haven't bent that for sure. It was very carefully installed. I might have, to, I might have to make some modifications. Mine must be different to some of the others. It's fresh fuel, plenty of spark, plenty of air. As usual, I get the dud. Okay, back to the whiteboard again, and I'll show you what I think is wrong with my Hobby King Pulse Jet. Now, let's, here's the Pulse Jet, there's the body of it, here's the intake assembly at the front, and here's the little air adapter. And you, the way they work is, when you blow air through this little um, jet there, it passes over the fuel jets here, bringing out with it a spray of fuel, which then gets blown down here into the combustion chamber where it swirls around, and ultimately gets ignited by the spark plug. Well, mine isn't doing that. What seems to be wrong with mine is that this angle here is too, it's, it's at the wrong angle, wrong pen. Use the nice big black one here, I'll just erase that so you can see. My flow ejector seems to have been assembled wrong. And so it's actually on an angle like this. Highly exaggerated, of course. So what's happening is the flow of air is coming over here it's picking up fuel and then it's dribbling out the front. It's not actually blowing in there. The reed valves aren't even opening because when I pulled the engine apart, there was no fuel inside. 
Normally when you do this, if something's wrong, you'll end up with a pool of fuel sitting in the bottom of the engine there because it's blown past the valves and it just pulls there, it doesn't burn, it just pulls. There's no, it was dry as a bone when I took the front off the engine. So the fuel is basically going there and then rolling back out. And there goes my phone, I'm sorry about that. Um, so this angle here on mine, obviously it's different than other people's, this angle on mine is wrong. It's, it's too, too far away, it should be lower. So it's actually blowing down the intake tube into there and, and providing enough pressure to open that valve and allow the fuel to run into the, or spray into the combustion chamber. So I guess it's Chinese quality control again. We've always had this issue with Chinese products, especially the first version. Um, what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to fix the flow jet. To fix that, I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to weld it back on at what I think is the right angle so that the, the flow of air is directly aimed down that intake tube, blows the valve open, carries with it some air fuel mixture. I mean, it's unfortunate. I have seen other people in the other videos I've seen on YouTube, they just push the air through, pop, pop, bang, and they run. Mine, no, just, you saw it. I just kept pushing the air through and all that happened was a fuel piddle at the front because it wasn't lined up. The air's blowing in the wrong place. It's a shame when, you know, you have a product that oh, you've got to fix before you can use it. And as I said, the Hobby King engine is a copy of the Dynajet, but I think, you know, it's just suffering those quality control problems. Maybe other people have had this problem, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one because, you know, if it's a dud around, I'll get it, you guarantee it. So I'll affect some repairs on that in the next few days, and then we'll try the Simpson version of the Hobby King Pulse Jet, see if that runs a little better. So stick with me, folks. We'll have an engine running soon. Bye for now. And for those that were wondering about whether there was actually a spark there, I'll try and block a bit of ambient light so you can see. There's certainly enough spark there to ignite a good air fuel mixture if one was getting through to the chamber, but it's not, so not the ignition, something to do with uh, that flow ejector.